having trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You! Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? I'm locked up for the night. Maybe come back tomorrow. I'm locked up for the night. How you doing? Uh, those sure are biggins. Well, no matter what size, there's always room for more in my family. I'm sure they'll fit in just fine. <laughs> so long. Wimpone! Hey, how's the journey? What does it look like? I'm sorry. I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just give me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. Thank <laughs> you. 
All going well. You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. Come back tomorrow. We'll see if this bears fruit. <laughs> All right now, Manny. I just follow the pointer and oh! wait. Come back. Manny! But Natalie! Steve! They... they left me. <laughs> I guess that's just what family does. They're never around. Barely ever talk to you. Then one morning you wake up and they're gone without so much as saying goodbye. I thought bug snacks would be simple. They don't have it in them to be cruel. But... The cruelest thing you can do is not care at all. Oh, maybe I should pay Wiggle a visit. Uh, after I fix the fence, of course. Well, they came out of the ground all right. Guess I didn't bury them deep enough. What am I supposed to do if even I don't believe in me? I didn't come to this island to be free or to live off the land. I'm here because I couldn't make it over there. Deep down, I'm a failure. It's all right. I knew it all along. Well, I still got my sauce. It's not bug snacks, but it's not nothing. Maybe I'm just stubborn enough to call that a What? Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Oh, 
Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that Bug Snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofy said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. What's up? After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro. Oh, well, Floofy's fun to gab with, but they're... Methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Hello! Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. Kidding me, pal? I like my organs where they are. Thank you very much. Mini Max. <laughs> Sando. Hey, how's it going? No. Speak not of the wicked alchemist. They who gladly hasten our doom. shows up in my nightmares, always watching me. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs>
You again. Bunger. Cool. Neat. Bunger. Yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. Fried. Unbelievable. Fried. <clears throat> cool. Neat. Sorry. Unbelievable. Stop over. Yum, yum, yum. Very good. You're actually being useful. I have a few more preparations to make. The experiment will begin in 24 hours.
I borrowed one of my brother's patent and Grumpinati traps and made some modifications. Once the device is activated, snacks will flow into my open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. I don't. That's what the experiment is for. I need you to load the funnel at the back, and then we can begin. <laughs> you put a stop to this nonsense right now! Snobbington, here to sabotage my career again? Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life! Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Floofty. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. See, this is why nobody wants to help you. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snoopy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose patience. And I give up on understanding. And perhaps that is cowardice on my part. <sighs> 